Hey everybody, Rich here. This video is going to cover how to manage and add new views in your application. You'll find new views under the UX Views tab. I'm going to create a new view. And this view is going to show the active tasks that I've added to my task management app. We're going to call this Active Tasks. We're going to connect this view to this slice of data that I've created just to display my active tasks. You'll see that as I'm editing this view, it shows me how this view looks at any given time. And I can also quickly change the view type to view this data in different formats. There's calendar views, deck views, table views, gallery views, detail views for showing individual record data. If you have address or lat long coordinates, you could display these items on a map. There's charting views you could set up. For large screen formats, you can add multiple views together into a single view. There's form intake views that you create, onboarding views, and then lastly, there's card views, which come with its own different set of layouts as well that you can change. Once you select your type of view that you want to use for your layout itself, you're going to assign it to a position. The first five options here all relate to how these views show along the bottom part of your application. If you choose menu as an option, then you'll see that this view shows up in the left side of the menu. Reference views allow you to hide those views so you can use those only during specific parts of the user experience in the application. View options will change depending on the type of view you use, but in general they have very similar options available. First is sort. You can add multiple views to sort your data in a tiered manner. You can group data by categories that you've made in your application, for example. With the status column here, I can group my tasks by status. If I have any number values, I could perform counts, sums, or averages for any of, the, for any of those values that fall under each group. And this allows me to give quick reference values next to each category that I create for my application. For main image, I'm able to choose the image I want to display. It'll default to automatic, but if I have multiple images, I can choose the specific image field I want to display. I can assign a primary header for this layout specifically, and a secondary header as well if I wanted to add maybe start date. And I could assign those fields accordingly. And then there will also be other options depending on the, the view type that you can use as well. Image shape allows you to toggle between square images or images that are rounded off or displaying the entire image within the image frame itself. Show action bar allows you to show any of the actions for that view itself. You can also create a custom list of actions just for that view if you want by clicking the Add button and selecting the actions you want to, or disable the action bar completely. Next is Display. Display allows you to change the view icon to something that represents the user experience you're trying to convey. Display me name allows me to override the name I gave the view itself. I could also add in a formula if I want to dynamically change the name using the AppSheet formula system. If I needed to get something, if I needed to create something that is context dependent. And then there's a show if function. In some situations, you may not want the view to show for certain users or based off certain scenarios in your application. You can add a formula here to dynamically show the view or have the view disappear when needed. Behaviors, depending on the view used, there's different behaviors that can be set for that view itself. In the deck view, there's the ability to set behaviors that occur when the row is selected. And this allows you to choose other actions that you've created in the app itself. So when a user either, in this example, touches a record, you can trigger other actions to run. And likewise, if they swipe left or right, you can also assign actions to that as well. And then there's also a, a helpful deep link you can always use for other activities throughout your app to reference the view itself. And then lastly, there's documentation. So you can add those notes to help you remember what you did when you created that view itself. 
with that, thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.